Yeah, man, it sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I was fully ready. I was in weight. I was in everything. I was just locked in, babe. You know, I'm still locked in. At this point, I'm just training harder because now we add in that strength and conditioning with Andy, and now I feel even better. I feel stronger. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, we just locked in, and I'm still ready for that new date. I'll be 19 at my pro debut, and from there, just keep going. Yeah, because I have around 100 something amateur fights. So now this is just be straight pros. That's why I just been getting ready for it. My technique on everything, on my timing, all different. Pros different, different ballgame. Amateurs just points, throw as much, you know, punches don't have to mean much. And now I'm throwing to hurt, so you know. So now it's a whole different ballgame. Throwing to kill. And I just can't wait. And seeing everybody else fight, all the other prospects going on right now, you know, I just want to be up there too and show what I got. So, you know. It's just a matter of time. Well, I mean, today's Monday. Today, you know, we work a little bit more technique than anything. Uh, it's a strength and conditioning day for them as well. So, um, you know, we'll work a little bit lighter today. They'll do their strength and conditioning. Tomorrow, we start to build it up a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, we we'll just... Trying to get them ready. Get them ready for their next date. Working a lot on defense, you know, making sure when I throw my combinations quick and fast and strong, just, you know, getting out the way. And the only weakness is myself, you know, my head. And that's all. But from there, you know, we don't pack. Look, it's always frustrating, you know, because, you know, guys go through a, you know, most people don't realize how, how tough a camp can be. You know, when you go, you know, going through a camp for eight, ten weeks, you know, long, and then all of a sudden, you know, a couple of days before a fight, you know, a fight gets canceled. You know, yeah, I mean, you can imagine what the fighter feels, but as a trainer, it is frustrating as well because, you know, you know you're peaking a guy at a certain time and, and you know, just things go go haywire at that time. You know, so it's, yeah, it is, you know, it's frustrating. You know, um, you know, it's not like another sport where, you know, you have the next, you know, next game next weekend, you know, who knows when the next fight is going to be. You know, so fighters, you know, they peak at a certain time, you know, for a fight. Now it's almost like starting all over again, you know. Um, so it's, it's always rough, man. You know, especially when they're, when they're cutting weight and stuff like that. You know, nobody wants to cut weight and, and not fight, you know, because that's like, it's brutal. Um, but, uh, you know, it's part of the game. Um, as frustrating as, as it is, but uh, I wish it didn't happen as often as it does, but it does happen. You know, so I, I think fighters at this point, you know, they kind of get used to it. Um, take a couple of days off and then get back in the gym again. I don't, I don't know if you need 
the numbers that I don't know. I know Caleb Plant stole the show, I think. Oh, it's nice. I didn't see the part, but I know it was, it was like all knockouts. Almost every fight was a knockout. Did they rob Michaela? Did they rob Michaela? I didn't see the fight. Day, which was supposed to be October 22nd in Mexico City and uh, a few days ago I just got confirmation that I won't be fighting on that card as well. Um, the biggest struggle has been getting opponents um, and then getting on these cards and it's it's very frustrating because I did a whole camp. I've actually been in camp longer than I should have been um, since Xander's last fight actually. And, um, to, to train and have your body prepared to go and then it be canceled on you is just it's a huge letdown. Like it's been four people to take the ladies in the house of the coach. Of course, you see, I can't do all the same thing. Actually, thank God. What the place is called. It's my five days off. I got five days off. I've been training for five months straight. Guys, don't listen to that. She's got to be in the gym for like three weeks. <laughs> I saw her now. Like. <laughs> This is my vacation. Kind of the camera. 